between the skills and guidance of my TEDx coach, Roger Killen, and the power of positive crime to help me bring together all of my body, mind, spirit, and emotions with the belief that I could do this, with the happy, no matter what attitude, so that the pressure came down. I was going to be happy no matter what happened on that stage. That dropped the pressure dramatically. So I rocked that stage. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know it was possible, but I've been promoted. I've been promoted from a TEDx speaker to a TED speaker because TED.com is now showing my talk on their site. And it's only been live for a month. I credit the combination of having a good guide and having a mindset tool that effortlessly helped me to be happy no matter what. So this natural negative bias, once you understand it, then you can take the steps to mitigate it. And what I found with Positive Prime is that it immediately sets my brain on the opposite path. It gives me an image that I can carry with me that kind of puts a pause button on that stressor. Because while he might still stand over my shoulder, I've adapted my body to be in a calmer, happier state as a baseline. So even if he triggers me, it's not going to be the same biochemical interaction because my body has all of the chemicals in it that counterbalance the stress chemicals. So I'm good, even with a modern day saber tooth tiger. We go to this natural negative bias of what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong. And it's how our brains are designed and culturally um, encouraged to be. And that's why I love Positive Prime because Positive Prime focuses and gets my brain to focus on the opposite. I actually have a beautiful picture of a mother and child elephant with their trunks intertwined and the baby's head on the mom's trunk. And I had put that into my positive prime sessions because it is just this experience of absolute comfort with another creature, with another member of your family, if you will. And so that's one of the images that I put in. Now, I also put in images of me on the TEDx stage because that's something that I put a lot of effort into. And I intend to take another TEDx stage. And, you know, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but I put the images of me on the stage in January and I just got offered a stage in December. So I will be back on the TEDx stage by the end of this year. My other images that I absolutely love are waterfalls that I have visited around the world with my guy. I have a thing for waterfalls. And anybody who watches the session leaving Shouldville is going to notice that I've got a thing for elephants and waterfalls because there's a bunch of those in there. <laughs> and, and you can add anything you want, which is what I really, really loved about being able to customize because I've got hand-drawn pictures that my kids did in my positive prime sessions and images that just captured my imagination. So when I sit down, I know that I am going to feel like I've come home, not like somebody's trying to put something foreign into my head. I'm coming home to what's true for me. And I think that's really one of the key things that makes it work so fast.
favorite way to explain positive prime to people is that it's a powerful source of perpetual optimism. And who doesn't need a little more optimism? I mean, where would that make a difference in your day? For me, it makes a difference every day because when I am optimistic, I don't get caught up in the what if it goes wrong. I stay in the, we'll figure it out. When I am optimistic, I know that the path will open before me. I just have to keep walking. There is such an awareness and a consciousness that goes into curating every image and every word. And I wouldn't have understood that if I had not created my own, if I had not become a part of the professional leaders program and learned the process of putting together a session. What I understand now is giving me a deeper appreciation because every single image, and there's a thousand images in my session. You know, there's over 240 images that have my words on them, but there's another thousand images beyond that. And I'm like, holy Toledo, how many years would it have taken me to find images that were evocative of the message that I wanted to get across to people? And, you know, my message is you can't do it wrong. That's the premise behind leaving Shouldville is you can't do it wrong. And getting that across in a way that I was effortless almost from my point of view, because you all have these amazing people who know how to find the images. So every time someone watches any session, but especially mine, they're getting the benefit of somebody who cared enough to curate every individual image that they're seeing. That's a lot of love to come in at one time. Oh my goodness, what's to be happy about when every time you open a screen, every time you open a newspaper, every time you turn on a radio, you're getting bombarded with more than your system was designed to handle as far as constricting energy. So now, fast forward, using Positive Prime, we've got the secret weapon. We don't have to be victims of this anymore. We can say, ah, you know, like the old muffler commercial, I'm not going to take it anymore. We don't have to. And we don't have to push back. We don't have to add our own negative energy and push it away. We can simply coat ourselves with what I call emotional Teflon. And all the energy, all the expectations, all the judgments and opinions of the world just slide right off of us. And we get to be who we are at our essence. And we don't have to take on the weight of the world anymore. Well, what I've discovered is that if misery loves company, positivity loves a crowd. So when you become more positive, you attract a crowd. It's not just like three's company. You attract a crowd. People will just feel compelled to come to me now, come to you now. And, and it's because of this effervescent potential. Like there's this expectancy, the power of possible positive outcomes is incredibly compelling. And wouldn't you want that? You don't have to be perfect to attract and pull power and share the power of positivity with other people. So I just want to give everybody a little heads up. It's going to start happening the first time you watch a positive prime session. 
It's going to happen every time you watch a positive prime session. And it's only going to take a few days and people around you are going to notice. And the power of positivity means that I don't ever have to sell again. I never have to worry about somebody saying yes to me because I've become energetically impossible to say no to. That's the power of priming my brain. And that's one of the side effects of positive prime is what if all the things that you dislike about your business, you never had to do again because there was a positive way to get the same outcome that you thought you had to work hard at. If you were brought up with the idea that changing a belief system had to be hard, that change was difficult, if you've got that BS running in the background, Positive Prime is going to seem like somebody's handing you a magic wand. And that's why I'm so grateful that there are hundreds of sessions in my library, because no matter where one of my clients is, I can direct them to a session that's going to be a good place for them to start. And it only took three days before she called me up. Actually, she sent me a text and said, for the first time when those images come up to help me identify where my emotional state is for the first time today, Jackie, I clicked empowered. That's a radical change from where she started. And granted, I'm a pretty good brain retrainer, but I had not gotten results quite that fast prior to being able to guide someone through being nothing more than pushing a button and watching a positive prime session. It's a great adjunct to the work that I do with my clients. I mean, leaving Shouldville is part of the program that we created to stop suicide. And it's one piece of a $500 program. And it's included in Positive Prime. And I am so, so happy to be able to do that, to get my content out in a way that can reach more people and that more people have access to. Because not everyone's going to want to come into my world and study and, and do the things that my, my students are required to do. Um, but they all can use Positive Prime because it's simple and it's easy.